Morning everyone, it's Lee from Magnetic North Magnet Fishing here and today we're going to be magnet fishing as a, a mini collab in Sheffield, South Yorkshire in England. Beautiful weather. So we'll see what the day holds. Um, just about to set off to site. Uh, I'll do meet and greets when I'm there and then we'll get on with it. So I'll talk to you again soon. Morning everyone, so co-lab day and we're at the canal side. Just spoken to Martin from the Canal and Rivers Trust, he's happy that we're here as well. So I'll just introduce you to everyone. So here he is, teammate morning, well, Ben. Hello. Nice to see you. Good morning, I see you too nice. <laughs> and over here we, we've got Corey. He's come up from Staffordshire. And we've got David. Here he is on his new magnet, courtesy of Online Magnets from Long Eaton. And over here we've got Glenn Lazy Lobbers. Also from Nottinghamshire. And over here we've got Ryan and Jamie happily fishing. So, wish you luck guys, Thank you. and uh, we'll see how we go. So look at that, we've got a beautiful day, beautiful canal, absolutely nice. Let's just hope we turn some finds up, and this came out early on as well. Right, good luck everyone. So, Corey caught on to this and uh, his magnet didn't quite catch it. The Evo 60, after a bit of hard work, did. And we've got a, a badge there. So, yep, glad that's out the water. <laughs> so, we've just had a look now and we've just seen this badge, this badge here. Uh, and it turns out this was actually part of a industrial boiler. So, uh, yep, definitely glad that that's out. So, the banner's now out and deployed. Corey's moved down that way towards the bridge. And everybody else is still up there. I'm going to try here, because it looks like there's been a bit of a loading bay. And there's a mooring ring over there. So, I've just caught my very first pair of step ladders. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> nice. And Ben's just out pull it out with a, a portable, ancient Love grapple it. hook. So, so, we've just got these ladders. And um, they're actually broken, but Ben's just stood on the bottom step. Um, because foot's gone there. Foot's gone, yeah, down there, but no, it's here. at least it's out the water. And we've had that trolley a scrap so far. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he's, he's trying to get exactly to his height. It's been down there a while, hasn't it? So, Ben's needed a bit of assistance again, <laughs> and uh, he's just caught a uh, a massive sledgehammer. Bit of wood. I'll do that. Nice. Clean up well that will. And uh you're right on film. Yeah no worries. Man. We've just been joined by Thank John Joe. Joe. So cool. You want this now? Okay, so Ben's now going to be using the Evo 60. And uh, look at that determination on his face. He's got something there. I am dropped off. Oh dear. Uh, got it again. You see, indecisive. He just doesn't know what he's doing. He's got it. He hasn't got it. He's got it. <laughs> he's lost it.
So not promising. No. He hasn't got it, but he's he's freed it up. So I've just um, had camera malfunction on the tripod. Unfortunately, I can't use that. And um, the camera lens on the camera case was scratched. So currently, going to be uh, filming without a back on the camera stand. A uh, phone holder. Some more there. Yeah. It's freeing it up. You see in here, it's very sludgy. Straight away. Nice one, John Joe's got himself something. Oh. So he's got it to the side, um, and these reeds just keep pulling it all off. Might have to deploy the old grapple hook again. So I'm not going to be on video as much today unless I fish and bend films. He's got a bit of a bar. And there we go. <sighs> that it? It was stuck. Yeah. So people's down that way, still fishing. It's all good. So David's day part two and Ben's day part two. <laughs> we have got this Orboy railway bridge here, uh, which is now a, a tram bridge, I think. Yeah, tram bridge. And uh, David's using his new kit, getting lots of sludge. I and he's just junior. sprung it. Oh. Yeah, no, I tied it off the other day. I've got some tar wraps off my mate and just... Nice one. Yeah, that's perfect. Rip. That's yeah, what right. you needed. I've got three of them trap pins. Yeah. A pair of pliers. And I've got this. Hang on, I'm fucking for it is. It's a connector from the um, railway. Oh yeah, yeah. I've got Electrical connector, yeah. and it, he's building it. His general waste up in there, and his pins. I've got three of those. Cool. And that there's his pliers hook that he's had. So, Glenn's over here, lazy lobbers, and uh, he's been trying. Um, I can't really see into the water. It, it's not clear enough. But just from down me. there, from here, that there's. Yeah. Oh yes, there's a, just there, there's a box that he's trying on. Um, John Joe's going to help him out yeah. with his terror magnet. So let's hopefully uh, get it out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and Glenn's just caught on something over that way. It's oh. engine block. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Right, so, so this isn't actually, you're not filming, are you, today? No, I never film, oh, okay. I just for fishing. Right, so John Joe's actually got it. It's not a box at all. Motorbike part? No, it's a car cylinder head. Oh, car cylinder red. I think it's because it's, I think it's going to be aluminium. Yeah, it's, you can't get a And you can't get a lock on it. So just a, a couple of iron nuts in it then. Okay, well, let's, uh, we know what it is. It's something for a grapple up maybe. Fish on a bloody magnet. No, it's stuck in a bimbo. <laughs> Corey's caught his first breakfast lunch. <laughs> well, I won't be eating that. Whoops. So there we are. It just shows there is definitely life still in the water. Let's get him back into water. 
So, Corey's been magnet fishing and he's actually caught a fish. <laughs> so, it came up in um, a bit of a bin bag. Yeah, that. So, yeah. cool. <laughs> Ben! Oh. John Joe's actually got it in its uh, engine piece. Yeah. Well done, mate. So he reached down into the water and physically got that. Bless him. Damp elbow. <sighs> hey, that'll bring you luck, that will. <laughs> so there it is. Just shows. Keep trying and stuff will come out the water. Oh. Look at this, I found your dog bone over here. Ben's had these out. Dog bone. Well, that's interesting. You know what that is? Nope. It's an old knife rest. So you put your knife across here. All right. There we go then. So th that'll be a, a Victorian piece, maybe. Oh, and, and then it's got um, a bit of crud. Bit of a nail, a uh, bean can of some sort, sweet corn can, and some general litter. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Ben's yeah. making noises because he's just seen these geese on there and he were about to cast into that area. <laughs> Come on. Look at that way. Yeah. Whish. Splosh. Splosh. Getting much? Come on. Nice. Still stuff in there, you see. Come on. And uh, over there, everyone's still pulling more bits out. Could be a whole car. <laughs> You still on? Oh. I am on. Right. I was a good. We're out in. So Corey caught his fish. Right that were right bad throw. That way we in. <laughs> I want to get right into that corner. And we're up north in Sheffield. Oh wow. Bit nippy today, though, isn't it? Aye, it is. David's over there from Long Eaton in Sheffield. It's a bit out at border, but he's here. Still borders. South Yorkshire, Nottinghamshire, Derbyshire. <laughs> and Ben's just not very happy. He's just getting sludge. He's wearing a bit as well. You've got it. Look at that for filming now though, well, that's so much better yeah, without that yeah. back on. Yeah. Just feels so empty. It's weird. There's a lot of stuff over that way. Under over that way. Yeah, that they, they all seem to be pulling gear. I'm not getting no more. You got some that's there? Mm. Oh crap. Crap. Well crap. Crap. why not cast that way? Nearing. Then? <laughs> it's a chair spring, folks. No, it's nearing. <laughs> so Ben's just done what I normally do, and uh, he's done a sideways cast, and unfortunately gave David his canal bath shower, and um, he's looking a bit shocked over there, to be honest. <laughs> But yeah, but Ben's now um, seeming to be casting to the side like I do. He'll tree it soon as well. Right, so Ben's bubbled it. And um, David's looking quite puzzled and not knowing what to do. No, it's right. Yeah. Oh dear. It's not magnetic. No. Yeah. Yeah, He's tired, tired. just got himself an old Michelin tire. Yeah. Oh, and a 
Yeah! Have you? Penny! Come on, Penny dance! Woo -woo, penny! For me! So he's got a penny, a penny, a penny, penny, penny! Oh, hey! I knew that! There's an oyster or something in that! <laughs> so, Ben's just had a really good find! Really good! Oh. Strong man! Oh, Davis! Oh, I know! <laughs> Look at him, him Mr. Serious. Oh, now I just caught that on camera. <laughs> so I'll just show you here, look. Ben's now sidewinding and uh, he's trying to poach David's finds. Well, heavy, David's right? not happy, look. Ain't bothered. <laughs> so I can bring out this word. It's supposed to be tight lines, not cross lines. Cross lines. And he has actually got something over there anyway. I don't think I have to come on. Are you alright then, David? Yeah, I'm all good. So he's got a few bits. All these are going in the bag. There's been five of it. I pulled four and then pulled one. Nice. Them trap pins or whatever they are. Clips, yeah. So. Ben's caught a bramble and a bit of wire. My new Ben's swimming now. And Ben's casting very off key today. I have. But it's working. It is, yeah. And there we are. We're having a competition between Nottinghamshire and South Yorkshire. Seeing who pulls the first item. Oh. It's not going to be Ben because he's just losing everything today. Oh, and there you are. He's just got himself a bit of rubbish on, a bit of wire. A bit of leash. At least you caught something. Ben's still struggling. I'm not, I've just seen this. Excuse my language. Golden lads. So, guys and girls, we've got a good year starting in year. February with the biggest good year I've ever seen. And a massive hub on it. Now that is insane magnet fishing. And the guys down there, they've also got something big. So, team effort on this, it's actually back end of a car. Wow, guys. That looks like back of an old skid off car. Or is it far? What do you reckon that is? Ford Capri, definitely. Ford Capri. Well done, you. Group effort. I didn't get it on my own. So. We're going to do find it day. So the person that clipped onto it, James, James over here. Find out, Ben, taking all, all right. right. <laughs> so here he is. We're presented with the very first magnetic north magnet fishing award. And these will go towards a magnet, so whoever gets these the most in the year will be getting a new magnet. Thank you. Sweet. And there he is with his ultimate find, which beats that wheel that we had out because this had oil and stuff in. So great environmental effort there. And a bike carry bike. And uh, some Nick's car stereos. Stereos. So, so Ben's just been doing a clean up. I am. 
He has, but he's just broke his um, brush. <sighs> tape it, mate. We've got plenty of tape. And uh, so far, we've had all this out. All this up here. All this. It's absolutely insane what we've uh, had. Somebody's had a knife there. So, yeah. So, David's just chilling over there. Everybody else is actually working, look. I'm lazy, so. <laughs> And uh, Ben's just going to be sorting his pockets out and stuff. No, I'm not lazy, I'm just like... Got a unusual bottle cap there, yeah. one I've not seen before. Yeah. Wow. So, James has actually done well in locating the car park, which is there. He's only had to go and find his son another magnet as well. <laughs> So, you know what, he's definitely in the running because he's got that uh, car hub over there and that's for a magnet. But you know what, it's not for that magnet, it's going to be, the more car hubs you get, it's going to be for a brand new magnet, not a second hand Amazon special. <laughs> <laughs> he's just got, as well, he's smashing it, he's just got a mystery bag. Oh keys, wow, keys. look at wow. Loads of keys. John, yeah, look at this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. He's got everybody's stolen car keys yeah. been recovered. <laughs> Any old fog keys. Oh we love fog. a mystery bag. Oh look at, uh, look this. at that. Ian, look, look at this as well. He's even got car instruction. Autos, independent car auctions. Wow. My goodness. Nice High one. five, man. Nice one, mate. That, that's sweet. Three good fans already. <laughs> I tell you what. I'm on it today. Get somebody yeah, else a chance. Tie one of his hands behind his back to make it fair. I, I agree. Oh. On. Look, he's now got some more mobile transport. And he's got a, <laughs> a kid's rocker here. Any fish in it? No, I think. Just a tail. Oh. <laughs> I reckon the rest of that car's in there. So, oh, look yeah. at this. Why would it just jump and back water in? He's had a car bit, he's had a magnet, magnet and he's had this step one unfolding trolley thingy. Yeah, it's a travel cot. Travel cot, yeah, that's it. It's, it's got the colours on the side, look. So you know what, the guys couldn't be happy with just smalls. They've only gone and hooked no, something heavy there. again. So they're going to try for that. David's over here and he believes he's got something smaller, but at least it is bubbling, it is coming out of the water. Um, it all helps the environment, so exciting stuff, folks. We'll be back with you shortly. So guys, it's just found this speaker. Vintage magnet fishing, 1984. <laughs> so Jason's just got himself a hoist hook. We could have done with that about 20 minutes ago. Cool. Straight out of the sill, look at that. Nice one. So Ben's just said this item out. And that is what an encased 30mm practice looks like. It's always worth checking in case it's not a practice. So always check what's inside your scrap and waste because you just never know. But that is a practice 30mm. And on this particular cast, he's just pulled out a few nails and some mulch, which is straight in the bag. So, Ben's been fishing whilst I've been removing some of the scrap. He's had this 
bit of narrow gauge railway. It's found Excalibur. He's uh, got yourself a hammer, a railway track pin, a hoist hook, a metal roller fragment, some track pins, a bolt, and I do believe he's got himself a horn from a boat there of some sort. Uh, and he's filled it his bag of waste. <laughs> so we, we've finished for the day. Lads say cheerio. And uh, it's by from them. This is all the scrap that's been collected and will be removed. All this lot, all that in there, all that. My goodness, it's been heavy work, but look at these carpets. Well impressed with that. Thanks again, guys. And uh, big bit of copper there. Cool. And uh, right. Glenn's very <laughs> tired, as you can see. But cheerio from Glenn at Lazy yeah. Lobbers. Go and check them out. And Ben, down there, is doing actually a bit of work. That's it. So that he's just bagging stuff up, removing the last bits from the second collection point. And it's all coming up here. So area's just getting washed down. So towpath's nice and clean. It's all getting sorted. Just as we found it. Bit wetter. Bit wetter. Um, but all the main sludge will be gone. Um, these are bags that's going with us. Whew, it's been a hard day. So, Scrapman's arrived. Um, we're just about doing the final clean ups in a moment. All oh, scraps loaded up there. And that's my new Scrapman, Ryan. So, uh, total respect to these guys, they do a good job. If you do need them, I will put the phone number up. And they are Sheffield, Barnsley, Rotherham, that they do. But please uh, make sure that there's enough for them to come out. Um, and they will help you out where they can. So we're just going to get this area cleaned up. And uh, jobs are good in. So this is Lee from Magnetic North. Magnet Fishing. We a very happy job done and uh, we'll see you again on the next adventure. Thank you. There goes the scrap. So that is the sky at sunset. So that marks the end of a successful Sheffield collab. Thanks again everyone. <laughs>